by the Martians to destroy the human race. The FBI is helpless, it's plenty story told. What can we do, who can we call? You, right? Yeah, that's Ice Finger, the executioner from Intercrime. He's the fastest gun in the world. Well, maybe. But I mean, I'm still pretty fast myself. Okay, how about telling me who the target is? Metropolitan Chief Bumbo Thumbs. He'll be a tough guy to hit. Can you do it, Ice Finger? Don't ask stupid questions, Slicker. You're talking to the executioner. Hello, is that you, dear? Oh, sorry, wrong number. Hmm. Some girl claiming it's a wrong number, Toboard. Toboard, do you hear me? Yes, wrong number, right? Uh, I'm going out. I have an important appointment. I almost forgot. I suppose you have a date with that wrong number. That could be, Jenny. Hmm. I just couldn't care less. Chief Bumblethumbs, there's an old man out here who insists on seeing you. All right, then. You can send him in, Sergeant. I'll talk to him. Yes, sir. Now, what was it that you wanted? Wrong number caused me trouble. Well, then call the phone company if that's your only problem. I'm too busy to... Oh, hi, Ace Man. I heard you needed me, so I came. And am I glad to see you. I sure am. I just got some terrible news from Interpol headquarters. They have positive information that Ice Finger is here in this country. Ice Finger, the executioner from Intercrime? That's right. Fortunately, we have this picture of him. 
I need your help. He's carrying a deadly super shooter, a gun that shoots 650 bullets a minute and converts to a flamethrower, too. I'm ready to get on his trail any time, but the first thing we have to find out is exactly who he's after. As the executioner, he'd be here to get one certain victim. I don't know who that victim could be, but whoever he is, he's in terrible danger. My men are on the job, but we really need you, Ape Man. Icefinger is a menace. Then I'd better get moving. I didn't waste any time getting over to Slicker's headquarters, as I knew he was the boss of local crime. And that meant Icefinger would probably be around, too. think Icefinger is such a big apple. I'm a better gunslinger and bandit than him. Just for fun, I think I'll go out and break a few traffic laws. see your license, mister. I can't seem to find it anywhere, copper. Well, you will better find it uh, quick. Take this instead. He threw a hole in my lunchbox and he scrambled my soft-boiled eggs. it would be me. As I sped after him, I used my special eye lights to illuminate the road before me. Pilgrims chasing me, the cops. I'll show those guys. Even though Mongoose was doing 110 miles an hour, I closed in fast. What happened? How did you get up here? Give up, you fool. I'll fix your wagon. I'm going to take this man's place in the gang. It's a very good idea, Ape Man. That prisoner told us that Icefinger is taking part in a shooting match at Slicker's headquarters tomorrow sometime. But will your disguise be good enough? Maybe they'll recognize you. If they do, they'll get away. Don't worry. They'll think I'm Mongoose. Please, man, don't hurt me. I didn't mean to shoot that policeman. It was a mistake. Let's go downstairs. That is, if you're ready, Mongoose. <laughs> ready. to getting the Fumble Thumbs assignment, the winner gets this four-barrel people blaster. And now I have the 
the dishonor to present the first challenger, Sam Slobber of the Killers Club. Hey, wait a minute. The target's over there. You hear? I don't care where you say it is. In my business, we only shoot at living targets. So here goes, buddy. shoot at each other's apple, and no fair shooting low on purpose. Now, if you're all ready, fire when you hear the gong. He didn't even get a shot fired. Oh, yes. Looks like he did. I say I'm the winner. Let's take a look at the slow motion film. The gangsters watch the slow motion film of the contest between Icefinger and me disguised as Mongoose. They were astonished to learn I had fired so fast. No one even saw me draw. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. If I didn't actually stand here and see it, I wouldn't believe it. You can take the Fumble Thumbs job. Thanks a lot, Slipper. Something's rotten about this whole deal. I tell you, it's a frame. You're just a sore loser this time. I gotta get going on this Fumble Thumbs job. I'll get him out of here right away into a trap. Hello, Jenny. This is Tobor. Anything happening at the office? No, there's nothing happening here, Tobor, at all. When are you coming in? Hello? As Mongoose, I had promised to bring Fumble Thumbs in. But not the real one. Hello, Jenny. This is Tobor. Anything happening at the office? No, there's nothing happening here, Tobor, at all. Uh, when are you coming in? Hello? I told you that guy was a phony, didn't I? Right from the start, Slicker. And here's proof. And to think I was fool enough to trust him. That guy wasn't really Mongoose. We know his name is Tobor, and he'll be back. So we better send someone to pick up that girl at his office. After we get her back here, we could use her as a hostage. Boss, Bumblethumbs is out there just walking down the hall. He just walked in. <laughs> That's just fine. Now you go and kidnap that girl in Tobo's office while we take care of Bumblethumbs. Welcome to your own funeral, Bumblethumbs. What? <laughs> for walking into a trap, you fool. You guys must really think you have me, don't you? You can't escape. We're going to kill you, Bumble Thumbs, but not quickly. Go on, you walk ahead. Go on now. <laughs> That's right. Keep walking, sucker. Eight. 
should be finished by now. Open it up. And now we look at the remains of Bumble Thugs. Should be finished by now. Open it up. And now we look at the remains of Bumble Thug. Hey. Who's that? Get him, Ice Finger. Boy, well, we gotta get him. Don't, 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 don't come any closer. I am Ace Man. Surrender. <laughs> Now your plan to eliminate Bumble Thumbs is finished, you know. It would be best for you to give up. Super powerful, or else he's made of steel. Look, he's not finished yet. You've guessed the absolute truth. Ace Man is a robot. I've heard of him. You're right, he is made of steel, and we ought to chain him up until we have time to take him apart and see how he works. Hang him up! After all the trouble he's caused, he looks beautiful, hanging there like a chandelier. Let me go, you big gorilla! You let me go! I brought her like you said, boss. Boy, she really put up a fight. You should see the bruise on my arm. Oh, no. That poor man. Walk a bye, baby. <laughs> Enjoy a cigarette. Young lady, could you help? You could reach him. What kind of help do you have for a robot? You'll rust your lungs. Jenny didn't know those cigarettes were really my super power boosters. Where do you keep those cigarettes, hmm? They're in my belt buckle pocket. I'll just dump my stuff here. May I have one, please? I'll bet you intend to keep them all for yourself, you mean pretty thing. You give him one of those cigarettes or I'll free my head off. Go on! Okay, okay, lady, don't yell. Here, buddy, enjoy yourself. <coughs> why, why would anybody want to smoke those horrible things anyway? Hmm? Yeah. Would you mind giving me a light, please? Too bad, buddy. Why should I care about giving you a light anyway? <laughs> Not the wise guy. I almost choked on your miserable cigarette. Now, you just hang there. With a little, uh, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Don't worry, mister. I'll burn those chains off with this gun. Are you ready? Don't bother burning the chains, miss. Just light my cigarette. This is no time for smoking. Busted loose. Blast him, Ice Finger. Blast him. We better make a run for it, boss. A poor time. That fire is sweeping the house. It's burning up. Escape back door. Oh, no, you won't, Ice Finger. Your time has come. You better surrender while you're able to before I have to use my power on you. 
This gun makes fine handcuffs. So ended the fantastic plot of the executioner from Intercrime. As Tobor, I rushed back to the office, first making sure the police would take care of Jenny. And I just made it in time. I brought your secretary back to you, Mr. Tobor. She was really in terrible danger. Thank you. Hmm. He said I was in terrible danger, and you just keep reading that newspaper. Oh, I'm glad you're safe. So you're glad I'm safe, you heartless beast. Put that paper down, will you? I know you were on a date. Have a nice time. Yes, I did have a good time. Isn't that dandy? Oh, um, I met the most unusual man. Big and good-looking and kind. Oh, it just makes a girl's heart flutter. Really? How exciting. If only she knew Eighth Man was sitting right next to her. But I couldn't tell her. I have to go on alone. It's my duty to all the world.